In this video, we're going to take a look at inserting a sketch picture. Whenever you decide to reverse engineer a part, it's always important to have good reference dimensions and images at your disposal. In the case of our video series, Recreating a Ferrari Enzo Steering Wheel, we're limited because we don't actually have a steering wheel to measure, we only have reference images found online. In our case, that's okay because we're only looking at the types of tools you use to create this type of part, and not actually reverse engineering the part. If you were to try to recreate a part, it's important to have as much information as possible. To get started, we're going to create a new metric part. We want to start by creating an offset plane. The reason we create an offset plane is because a sketch picture is going to be able to have some transparency to it so we can see through the picture. But our part, such as solid geometry and surface geometry, are going to obscure the reference image unless they have some transparency as well. So it's always important to place your sketch pictures in front of the geometry you're creating. So in our case, we want to select the front plane, select reference geometry from our feature tab, and create an offset plane. In the case of our steering wheel, 100 millimeter offset will be more than enough to clear our part. Another thing I like to do is rename my features, such as my planes, my sketches, and any other geometry that's created. In this case, I'm going to call this sketch picture plane. That way it gives any users that go through this part later an idea of why that plane was created. To insert a sketch picture, we're going to go ahead and start a new sketch on that offset plane. From a previous video when we set up our command manager, we added sketch picture to our sketch tab. But before we insert a sketch picture, I want to add a circle to the center of our part. The reason I like to do this is this kind of helps me scale my sketch picture. So we're going to insert a 60 millimeter circle in the center of the part, and then select sketch picture. Included in the images with this video series was an image called Enzo Steering Wheel Front. This is going to be the sketch picture that we create in this sketch. One thing we want to do is drag this image as close as possible to centering in that circle. And you can see here why we added that circle, because there's no geometry to snap to the origin when we insert a sketch picture. 60 millimeters is going to give us a good scale reference and allow us to create geometry that's going to be accurate to the size of the steering wheel. The last thing we want to do for this sketch picture is insert a full image transparency. I typically like to use 50%. You can go as much or as little as you want, but keep in mind that the more image transparency you add, the harder it's going to be to see reference details. That's why 50% works good for most images. Now that that's inserted, we're going to go ahead and OK, and we're going to rename this sketch, Sketch Picture. While it's important to name your features to give other users a good chance at figuring out what you did in your modeling process, it's not important to name every sketch and every feature. In the case of our sketch plane and our sketch picture, I'm going to select both of these, right click, and add them to a new folder. I can call this new folder Reference Images. Another handy tip is to expand this folder and show your display pane. This gives users a quick way to toggle the visibility of sketches, planes, and features. Remember, at the end of each video, you want to save your work. We're going to go ahead and call this Enzo Steering Wheel. That way, we're sure that we have a good, solid part foundation with our reference plane and our reference sketch to start creating some geometry. That concludes the video on inserting a sketch picture.